Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing an intriguing topic, conducting a Zephyr Stone test at home. This test could be beneficial for many of you, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more valuable content, and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Let's get started. 1. Look for flaws and inclusions. Use a jeweler's magnifying glass, at least 10x magnification, to inspect the sapphire closely. Natural sapphires form with tiny bits of other matter in them, so look for small specks and blemishes. These flaws are a good indication that a sapphire is real. Lab created, fake, sapphires do not have inclusions of this nature, and some natural sapphires don't have flaws either, but if you find flaws it is real too. Perform the breath test. Take your sapphire and breathe on it to fog it up. Count how long it takes for the fog to start fading and how long until the fog is totally gone. Natural gems should clear up in just 1 or 2 seconds, but created sapphires may take closer to 5 seconds to clear up 3. Get your sapphires certified. Gemologists can examine a sapphire with reflectometers and magnification polaris scopes to determine what kind of gem it is. They will give you a report on what they decide about the sapphire once they have analyzed it. They can tell you if it is natural or synthetic, treated or not, as well as many other attributes. Once the gemologists have fully examined the gem, they will give you an official statement. If you have an old family sapphire that you are sure is natural and valuable, it is good to have it certified to ensure that you get the best value if you sell it. A certified sapphire will be easier to sell for a good price. Jewelers are not qualified to tell you if a sapphire is real or not for. Check the gem for air bubbles. Lab created sapphires are essentially glass that is put through a process similar to the one that forms natural sapphires. Since they are glass, tiny air bubbles remain in them after they form. If you see any bubbles inside of the sapphire then it is not real. Be sure to turn the sapphire over and inspect it from every angle. It's possible that air bubbles will only be visible from one angle 5. Use the scratch test. If you have two sapphires and you know for sure one is real, use it to scratch the second one. Gems of equal hardness can't scratch each other, so if both are real sapphires then nothing will happen. If the real sapphire leaves a scratch on the second sapphire, then the second one is not real or is at least of lower quality. This test can damage a synthetic sapphire, so be wary of ruining the inferior gem 6. Watch how light reflects from the sapphire. Turn the lights off in a room and shine a flashlight on the sapphire. If the sapphire is real, it will only reflect light that is the same color as the sapphire. If it is fake, meaning it is made of glass, it will reflect other colors besides the color of the gem 7. Look for intersecting lines in the sapphire. Some natural sapphires are of such poor quality that they can't be sold. One way that sellers make up for this is filling the sapphire with lead glass which masks the poor quality of the sapphire. If you see crisscrossing lines, you may have a real sapphire but it is most likely of low quality 8. Ask the jeweler if the gem is natural. If you are considering buying a sapphire from a jeweler, you should always ask whether the gem is natural or synthetic. The FTC requires that jewelers disclose information about any gems that they sell. Don't be afraid that you will sound critical or uninformed if you ask about a sapphire. It's your money to spend and you want to know for sure what kind of product you are buying 9. Ask the jeweler if a natural sapphire has been treated. There are various treatments that are done to sapphires to enhance their color or clarity. While this may make the sapphire look better, you may feel it reduces the natural quality. Treatments are not permanent, so it is good to ask about treatments and how long they will last on the gem. Treatments can be removed to return the gem to its natural look. 